Hey guys, so the new OnePlus 3T is now official and I'm going to be talking about it and basically discussing which phone you should go for, you know, OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T if you don't have any. So first of all, I'm going to be discussing what are the same things here. Uh, first of all, the design, it's, it's exactly like the OnePlus 3, it's uh, not changed at all. Um, also, the display is still 5.5 inch and it's still 1080p HD in resolution. So we heard a lot of rumors that it's gonna be quad HD, but it is still 1080p. And uh, also it's AMOLED. So we also heard that it's gonna be OLED, but it's not that. And the camera on the back is also the same. And it's still coming with Android Marshmallow, no NuGet, so which is a little bit of disappointment. But yeah, this is these are the things that are same compared to the OnePlus 3. And in my opinion, these things are what that defines uh, an upgrade, okay? The design, the camera, the display, these things define the upgrade. So uh, let's talk about what are the improvements. So you get Snapdragon 821, it's gonna make the phone a bit more snappier, but uh, only in benchmark wise. You're not gonna be able to notice that in real daily life, day-to-day -day usage. So my OnePlus 3, I've used it for two months and I've installed like 100 plus applications on this device. And you can see that it is absolutely a beast when it comes to speed. I have no problem with this phone at all. It just flies through everything and really probably the most smoothest Android phone I've ever used, uh, you know, the OnePlus 3. I have to say it's amazing and really Snapdragon 821 is not worthy of an upgrade, especially if you have a OnePlus 3. So front camera is also improved. So now you have a 16 megapixel front camera. So definitely it's gonna give you better uh, selfies. Uh, there's also a 128 gigabyte variant. So that's also well appreciated, more storage. Uh, but the best of all, is the 3,400 millimeter battery that's gonna be inside of the OnePlus 3T and that's gonna provide a bit more battery life compared to the original OnePlus 3. So, so overall, you can see that it's not a big of an upgrade compared to the OnePlus 3. So really, if you have a OnePlus 3, there is no need to upgrade, even though the price is pretty good. So you're getting 439, uh, you're getting OnePlus 3T for just $439. So uh, the 64 gigs of, uh, gigabyte variant and you can get the 128 gigabyte variant for just just 479 so uh, in my opinion it's not it's not costing more still the flagship killer you, sh you can say and if you don't have any of these phones like if you are using oneplus 2 or any other phone and you are thinking about buying a oneplus 3 device then i should say go for oneplus 3t spend a little bit more and you're gonna get better battery life slightly better performance and of course better selfie so yeah uh, definitely these are my thoughts about the new oneplus 3t smartphone i just wanted to talk about it you know, uh, I've heard about it in the news a lot, uh, uh, you know, in the past few months, but I didn't make any videos, so now it's official. So yeah, here is here are my thoughts about the new OnePlus 3T smartphone. I uh, hope this will help those people who want who want to, you know, buy this new OnePlus phone uh one plus 3t so yeah thank you so much for watching and also one more important thing is that the original one plus 3 is not going out of stock so it's gonna be still it's still gonna be available so you can buy it if you are like really tight on budget then four hundred dollar for this one is absolutely worth it and uh, yeah see you guys in my next one peace